Thanks for having us at your place. It's beautiful. I love your home. I love your colors. I love your paintings. Tell me a little bit about, about you and what you do. How, how did you get into painting florals and flowers? And Tell me about your art. So I'm from Zimbabwe originally and I have painted since a very little girl and uh, flowers and color are my absolute passion. And so I've done um, interior design for the last 31 years, worked in Oxford for 10 years, in Sydney for a year, and I've been in Cape Town for 19 years. Always painted, um, and recently my, my artwork is now printed onto wallpapers and onto fabric and onto products, so it's a whole new venture for me. My favorite colors are um, bright, dynamic, nature, Nature has its own um, incredible force of energy and exploration of color, which I absolutely love. And when it comes to the design process um, of doing visual design, tell us a little bit about so I, that. So I paint very instinctively. So I don't do thumbnail sketches, I don't plan. It, as I paint, the painting develops with me. What made you choose working with oil? I think oil is, is much easier. You can get much, much deeper colors. Um, it's more malleable. You can move the paint. It doesn't dry so quickly. So you can almost mix your colors on the canvas and develop your art piece. And the, the beauty of oil is the color. You, the color. you get a lot more um, definition with oil than you do with acrylic. Um, so as I paint, it grows and I, I instinctively know what mark to put onto that, that canvas. Um, I inherited a lot of art um, paints from my mother, who was also an artist. She studied in Rome at the Fine Art Academy. Oh, wow. um, so art has always been in my family. Um, I go to the Italian art shop, I go to Deco Edge. Wherever I can find unique colors, I will buy that tube. Your artwork can either be scanned on a big scanner or um, photographed to a high resolution and then that work then gets um, fed um, into a digital format and that can be printed then onto any format whether it's a, a fabric or a wallpaper or um, a, a plastic. We've done yeah. a few repeats exactly. for you. Exactly. So generally we would um, get your Pyres prints from you and yeah. then bring them into Photoshop, work with them, change some of the colours if we need to yeah. Um, and then sort of create a repeat yeah. pattern. Yeah. And what's so fabulous is that you can then take a particular aspect of the design and enhance that, or you can just use that as a pattern repeat, or you can change the different colors within yeah. the design. Wow. And it's, it's amazing to see um, art onto different mediums, how it transforms into a velvet or into a linen, um, the fabric absorbs the color in a different way. Completely. So yep. velvets are very bright and vivid, yep. and then your linens will absorb more of the inks, so you'll find that, it, that they are a little bit duller, but they will work for a certain palette, or exactly. a certain style of, or a look. Exactly. Where a velvet is, is, if you've got a couch you want it to pop, you'll generally print it on a velvet, also it gives you that feel and the linen material. Outdoor fabrics, everybody's always worried about outdoor fabrics. If you leave them in the sun, then they fade over time, which does happen. I mean, light is going to destroy yeah. color. But to be honest with you, I've seen dye sublimated fabrics outdoors for years and they look great. And by the time they faded, you should be changing your, your cushion covers or your fabrics exactly. anyway. They're already exactly. worn out. I mean, you are going to get wear and tear. So exactly. I'm a big advocate for people using some of these fabrics outdoors because it's it's a trend, it's a season or two or three, and then they're gone. Exactly, and why not make your garden into a creative space too? Um, I have um, designed hospitals. I designed the Weinberg Military Hospital, which was an eight-year project, and all the fabrics um, in the hospital for the, the beds and the window curtains were all designed by me, wow. and all the pediatric um, fabric was designed by me, which 
was originally children's fabric, yeah. children's designs, which I turned into fabrics uh, in their imagination and not in a scary place. And with the adult wards, it's more about calming. So it's about bringing in all the natural colors, the greens and the blues um, to make them feel calm. I want it to feel inviting and warm and colorful. Um, and that's really important to me. Where to from here? What are the what are your plans? Um, to expand my brand, um, expand my creativity, expand. I'm I'm constantly learning. I um, with paint techniques, with um, the creative process. You can never stop learning. So it's I'm just yeah plodding through and seeing what unfolds and keeping the doors open. Thank you for having us here at your home. It's beautiful. Thank you for I love being your, here. your animal. I love your home. I love you. And very pleased to be able to have this conversation with you and just get to know you a little bit more. Thank you so, so much. It's been a privilege to work with you and to see my, my artwork unfold onto your wallpapers and your fabric. Thank I you. hope to see it grow. Um, I think your designs bring such energy and life into your home. So I believe that it's a match made in heaven. Thank you. Cool. Thanks.